Hello, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. I hope you are all well. I'm okay, Stephen here. There's the old Roman wall in the city of York, um, North Yorkshire, UK. And it's the 1st of November. 1st of November, yes. And uh, I've just finished preaching and... Um, you will see in one of the videos, I get surrounded by loads of mockers. I had people walking past me going like this, you know, to try to intimidate me, make me feel like I'm stupid. I had people just going past me. I had so much of that today. It's so hard, it's so hard to stand in the street, I'll tell you. And then, this mocker towards the end of the video comes up and then some other mockers who have obviously got wicked spirits inside them they work together like a hive minded demonic anyway they, they, they a few of them gather together most of them on camera and um, there's people actually behind the camera that you can't see also watching and um, I'm on my own I've got to watch my stuff and I've got this guy following me around telling me that this is a quiet city we don't need you like this and yes they do they need to hear the message and so I, I just knew straight away um, that if I told I told him the gospel anyway but I just knew I was wasting my time with that man I'm not there to stop and talk with people in the streets when I'm doing that um, unless it's like unless I sense that they are interested but this man no no, 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 no. He just came to mock. Um, he was sent by the devil. Um, maybe the Lord allowed it to prove me, to see if I would just continue or stop. Or, I don't know. But then he he went, and then when he brought a friend with him this time, and both standing there laughing. I don't know what they're saying, but they're laughing at me and and uh, all the rest of it, and um, I don't hold any grudge against them, um, no. But I can tell you something, I can tell what time it is, um, just by the response of the people. Most people were laughing in my face today. So I've come out of the city, and I did what Jesus told us to do, and I shook the dust off the bottom of my feet as a testimony against them. Um, and that's it. Just leave it at that and carry on. There might be somebody on the way back I can hand a gospel track to who will talk to me. Um, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, if somebody comes up in the street, I, I do have discernment and I, I'm pretty good at um, noticing uh, what kind of people come up. If they come up and they've got a genuine a question or anything like that then I'll, I'll stop straight away on the mic and and you know but this guy you, you can see he was just sent to to provoke me and um, I told him I said I said I said because he was going on about the volume I said it's not the volume it's got nothing to do with the volume it's got to do with the message and um, and then that, that he seemed to real get riled up by then and if it wasn't for the fact that the security walking around everywhere, I'd be attacked. Oh, for sure. And so, so by by the general overview, um, I can see that some people walk past me, gave me a thumbs up. Um, you might not see that on camera, but some people did. Um, some people just gave me a wave or something like that. And. After all these mockers at the end of the video um, gather against me, um, God sends a woman right at the right time who's a Christian. She's got a mask on. And this is another reason why we shouldn't judge because they're wearing masks. And um, she was a Christian from Peru. And so I managed to... If you're watching, by the way, Bob, hello. Um, didn't catch your name, but... Thank you. Um, anyway, God, God sent her to comfort me and to reassure me of what I was doing was good, right. And uh, she's from Peru. And um, 
she made me feel a bit better. So I carried on a bit longer and and I could only stand there for so long today. I've got quite a sore throat actually, although God is healing it very quickly. Um, I, I, I've, I've had a cold, which is, um, it's not, I know it's not flu, because I, I can still carry on doing what I'm doing, but it makes, just makes you feel uncomfortable. Sore throat, coughing up phlegm, and just that whole head thing, you know? You feel all dull and well, that's what it's been like for me. And um, anyway, guys, uh, just about to go back to the train station, and I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll carry the speaker as, as I'm as I'm walking, so I'll give you a bit a bit longer view of of the city where I preach. I hope you are all right. I stood and I argued with that man. I I, I didn't handle it very well actually. But it's very difficult when you're surrounded, when people gather around you, and um, you know, um, there's more of them than there is you, just me on my own, and um, it's very difficult not to. I I I, I tend to get angry. Um, I do have a problem with anger. Um, I know that, and um, the Lord's working on me with that, but. Um, I'm never angry at somebody without a cause, but, but even so, um, nothing shall be right in the Lord's sight when, when I'm in a state of anger, so um, it was hard with that guy not to get angry, because he, he's, I'll tell you what I think of him, the guy who came up to me, he was a jerk. <laughs> That made me feel real good. <laughs> the guy was a jerk. And but I know God loves him. I know that much. And I feel love for him right now. And I prayed for him. I prayed for him when I was walking away with my equipment. I'll just show you where I'm going. I've never shown you this before, so this is something different for you. That, that's like a what do you call it, a turret or something, uh, um, uh, th this is the river that runs through York that you're about to see, it's called the River Ooze, and sometimes when it rains it, it overflows and there's been, there's been some major flooding in, in, uh, in York because of this River Ooze. Um, it's overflowed its banks and um, a few years ago there was some flooding and it could easily do it again. Anyway, I love you all. I love you all. And I'm just going to make it in time without rushing to the train. But one thing's for sure, I'm going to have to pop this down a minute. Ah, there, that's better. I'll put that down a minute and just show you a bit more of where I am. There's the river flowing beneath. I'm trying not to drop the camera in there. But, uh, it's getting dark very early now here in the, in the northern hemisphere. There seems to be so many, uh, I would say, Koreans. I think the Koreans, there could be a lot of Jap uh, not Japanese, Chinese as well. Uh, but there's a lot of them, and absolutely loads of them. There's one there. There's some there. I don't know where they're from. They're everywhere though. Taking pictures and stuff, but they never give me any abuse. They're, but the only thing with them is they're all w walking around wearing masks, so I haven't got a clue whether they're smiling or or whether they're looking angry because uh, can't see, can't see their face. And anyway, 
Look, you can see the Roman wall goes all, all around the, the old part of the city. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to get off. It's really hard doing a video with that. But I love, I love you all. God bless you all. We can do all things through Jesus Christ. And we are about to leave. Get ready to leave, guys, because that's it. We're going. Thank goodness. I can't wait. Just, <laughs> I just can't wait. Just put it that way. God bless you guys.